Hello guys, uh, what's up? Tony Talib here to talk about the second uh, match day of the Confederations Cup. Uh, group A today, tomorrow Group B. Uh, today we had Brazil against Mexico and Italy against Japan. Now both uh, results were quite what I expected. However, how they happened, especially in the Italy against Japan match, were kind of surprising. To say the least. Um, let's go in order. Uh, Brazil versus Mexico, 2 0 victory by the hosts. Um, uh, uh, Brazil uh, is, even though they attack more than against Japan, they still don't find that offensive they used to have. They just, I don't know why, because they have the players, I don't know what's wrong, but they just cannot find that offensive power they used to have a few years ago. Uh, I will say this though, Neymar today was the player I wanted him to be. Decisive, uh, very active. He participated in almost all the attacks from Brazil. Uh, as for Mexico, well, they're having a horrible 2013. They just cannot find the rhythm to play good. They, they cannot find their a, 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 a game, their own game that makes them comfortable. They just don't seem to find it. Uh, this must be the, the worst Mexico of the last few years. Uh, I hope they find uh, the way out of this horrible moment because uh, Mexico is usually one of the teams that give excitement to any tournament they're in. You know, they're like the they're not one of the most powerful and they're not of the weakest. They are the ones that are going to fight and can complicate the big teams. But that was not the case today. Uh, today Brazil had a very, I'm not going to say easy, but a very relaxing game, you know, especially with uh, an early goal again, nine minutes gone. Neymar with a fantastic goal, another volley. Dani Alves with a cross, a uh, bad clearance with a head by a Mexican defender. The ball didn't leave the box. It went up high, and just as it it was going to hit the ground, Neymar with a fantastic volley again, beating the keeper. No chance to saving that. Neymar is must be practicing those volleys because he's getting very good at them. Um, again, uh, Neymar was very active. Most of the attacks, like four or five chances created by him. Uh, especially the second goal, which was a, a beauty, you know, it was a beautiful play by Neymar, uh, facing two defenders on the left side of, of the box, getting between them with a fancy footwork, passing the ball to Joe on the other side of the far post, um, Joe just put it in, a beauty of a goal, you know, typical Brazilian style, that play from Neymar, typical Neymar, you know, that's the Neymar we saw at Santos that we hadn't seen in Brazil uh, for the most part. However, this is the Neymar I, I expect to see in the future and even better because I believe that once he gets to play in Barcelona with time, he's going to get even better and he's going to be, in my opinion, he's going to win the Golden Ball and be the best in the world in just a few years. Uh, Mexico had almost little to no attacks and those were mainly because of uh, defense mis defensive mistakes from Brazil so uh, Mexico needs to get at least a win against Japan to not save their participation but at least have that hope of getting better you know so we're gonna see what happens uh, next uh, the next match day. As for Italy, Japan, it was surprising to say the least. Surprising doesn't even begin to cover it. I mean, I expected Italy to win, but boy, did they got worried. They get worried with with the, all those goals from Japan. First, a penalty that, in my opinion, was not a penalty. Buffon went to the ball. He hit the ball. Uh, the the Japanese player just fell because he fell. It was not not every time you fall. It's a foul or a penalty. Uh, but Honda put it away at the 21st minute. 
Italy one nil down, surprise uh, to everyone. But even more surprising was that the 33rd minute, a bad clearance by the defense, uh, the ball gets right back into the box, and Shinji Kagawa just puts it in. No chance for Buffon. He got it bouncing in front of him, very near the the keeper's box. Uh, he just put it in as as hard as he could. Two nil. Thirty three minutes gone. Everybody was wondering what the hell was happening with Italy, uh, but it was the Rossi. At the 41st minute, with a corner uh, taken by Pirlo and a header, the one of the characteristics of Italian players, the header, he put it in halftime 2-1. There was hope really, and then, well, second half, a great comeback by the Italians. Started with um, a known goal by Ukida. At the fifth, at the fiftieth minute, uh, again, uh, at the Japanese uh, another bad clearance. Uh, that wasn't even a clearance. First of all, the ball was going to a corner kick. A Japanese player trying to protect the ball with uh, I I don't remember who the Italian player was, but he was pressuring him. And come on, man, if you if you are not sure that you're gonna be able to protect the ball and let it go away. Just hit it as hard as you can, get it out of there. He didn't do that. He complicated the situation. And uh, the cross uh, by the Italian player, who I really don't remember who it was, and it was going for Balotelli. Balotelli just had to put it in, but Ukida intercepted the ball and on goal. Bad luck for Ukida. Two, tied at two. And then a handball. It immediately, very, very. Uh, close, uh, almost immediately, 52nd minute, uh, a strike that hit in the hand of the Japanese captain, I believe, and Balotelli, the man who never misses penalties, scored it 3-2, and everything seemed back to normal, apparently, but oh no, no, not yet, because at the 69th minute, with it being one of the characteristics of the Italians, a free kick from the left, from the right side into the box, and the Japanese striker Okasaki with a header, nothing to do for Buffon. He's a great keeper, but he couldn't do anything about it. Three three. There was apparently uh, the the chance that Japan could. Not just tie the game, but even win it because they were playing better. They played better than Italy. It's just that Italy was more effective, and that is what counts in football and in most sports. Well, everything in life, uh, effectiveness, how effective you are with the chances you get. And then they put it away at the 86th minute with uh, Jovinko after a, a, a great through ball, but I believe uh, Montolivo. Marquisio, I think, crossed the ball, a low cross, and Jovinko put it in 4-3. The match was over. There was no chance of Japan getting back again with a tie. So <clears throat> let's review it again. Brazil, more of the same, a little, uh, a little better when in the number of chances they got. Neymar, great performance today. He is, without a doubt, the best player in Brazil. Uh, Italy, surprisingly bad today, but they got the job done. That's what's important. They get their uh, their uh, their moral up. You know, they even though they played bad, they did a great comeback. And Japan, well, great performance today. Bad luck, bad defending, awful defending. And a little bit of bad luck, especially with that handball. So, yeah, tomorrow we have uh, Spain against Tahiti, which I believe Spain is going to win it. No questions about no question about it. And as far as Uruguay and Nigeria go, that is a very interesting match. You know, I said that Uruguay and Spain were going to 
to move on to the semifinals. But I don't know, you know, the Nigerians are uh, Africans are usually very, very complicated. They're very strong. They're very fast. So it's going to be interesting to see. I still think Uruguay is going to win probably 1 0. I'm not saying how many goals Japan is going to score, but I, I know they're going to win. They're going to win four more than three goals, I believe. That's all I'm, I'm, I'm going to say about that match. Uh, again, Neymar for me, the player of the day, great performance. I hope that he gets even better. I know he can. Let's just see how this Confederation Cup goes for him. It's great until now. So yeah, those were, these are my thoughts. Um, this was my review. These were my predictions. Uh, but how about you guys? You tell me what, what did you think about this matches? What do you think about Neymar's performance? Who was the best player of the day for you? And what are your predictions for tomorrow's matches? Uh, please uh, tell me in the comments section below. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel, help me out guys. And thank you for watching this video. Bye. God bless.